And hello everybody. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a few shapes using HTML. Now let's get started. Now first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you open a HTML5 document. Now start with your HTML and insert a body. Okay, now this is 100% up to you, but I like to add horizontal lines just to make everything look a little bit more organized. Okay, now create your SVG. Now in this you give it the width and the height. Now make them both around about 200. Okay, now open up a circle in your SVG. Okay, now put in the circles X and Y axis. They can both be 50 and then put in the radius of 40. Okay, now let's make the circle red. So to do that, say fill equals red. That will make the circle red. Okay, so now let's save it so we don't lose it. Now let's save it as an HTML. So when we open it, it opens as a web page and not as the notepad itself. Okay, so now I'm just going to open the HTML. So you can see how it looks now this is how it looks right now so let's just edit it a little bit so it fits us how we might want it okay now on a different note CX is for the X axis of the circle meaning from left to right CY is for the Y axis meaning from up to down or it's just a radius it's you know what that is okay now as you can see I edited it and this is how it looks now also on a different note, SVG is like a it's like a board. Let's make it a board. Now on the board is what you're drawing on it. It's like, let's make it a piece of paper. SVG is like the piece of paper. So however big you make the SVG is how big the paper will be. So if the, the drawing is bigger than the paper itself, then it won't fit on the paper obviously. So that's so then the whole circle won't fit on it. Okay, now just for interest's sake, let's delete fill and put in a stroke. Stroke is for like the outline of the circle. Okay, so let's test it out. Okay, that didn't work out perfectly. So let's try and use a style to make the stroke. So we are going to say fill it with nothing so it's white on the inside but it's still going to have a stroke so it is black on the outside. Okay, now let's test it out. Well, that worked perfectly. Okay, so see, this is what I wanted to do. So now what I want to do is I want to make a rectangle. So it's basically the same as the circle, just make an SVG and put everything in it and then just beneath that instead of it, say rect. Okay so in this rectangle you don't need a C or an R, you just go X for the X axis and Y for the Y axis and then we just fill it. Okay so now let's test it out. 
Oops, okay, it didn't work, so let's quickly try and fix that part. Okay, to fix it, let's just add a width and a height and see if that works. But the X and Y axis should still stay though. Okay, and there you go. It's a beautiful rectangle. And that's about all you gotta know. Thank you guys, and until next time. So I'm just gonna play a little with it and see what happens. Now you're in Ding dong, looks like I have one